do because they're saying that the C hip is the MOTB, the fulfillment of Revelation 13. But he said you could still go into the kingdom of heaven if you repent. Let's listen again. You heard what he said. I'm not putting words in their mouth. I'm letting them speak. You see a guy speaking. I'm not playing with the video. So if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? Do you think? Based upon what he says, he knows what the MOTB is, right? He's not. He didn't say it was Christianity. He didn't say it's sin. He said, if you get the MOTB, can you still enter the kingdom of heaven? He says, no. He said, but if you repent, you can. But let it play a couple times. And you... The leadership of the IUIC, you have a lot of explaining to do. If you keep teaching this, the most high is going to destroy you guys. No, you can't. So if the white man can force it in you, can you not still repeat? You should have still been able to repeat, right? See what I'm saying? So that's why I read the scripture about them having a dominion on your body. So if they put that chip in you, guess what? Or um, you got the chip in you, you don't know it. Guess what? You still should be able to repeat and get into the kingdom of heaven regardless. Right. So, right. So, if you get the mark of the beast, can you enter into the kingdom of heaven? He said, if you get the MOTB, can you make it in the womb? Koholo, y'all, by Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakadash. The bonds of the apostles, the bonds of the elders, the great millstone who rule well and tell us this truth. Much respect to you, brothers out there, just preach this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Tabernacle David, hopefully, like and speckle bird and wants to shalom. So, I just want to do this uh, quick rebuke video on the IUIC. All right, because you cannot repent if you take the MOTB. All right, you cannot repent. And if the Lord had an uh, Edomite or whoever to put it inside you, forcibly to put it inside you, that was meant to happen, man. All right, the Lord is the king of terrors, man. That's why he got prayed to the Lord. Matter of fact, I'm going to get this scripture. That's why he got prayed to the Lord that he keeps the wicked away from you, man. And the wicked ain't going to be away from you. You ain't going to be put in that situation. We'll say that you are put in that situation. The Lord is going to make a way for you to get away from that. And you're not going to have the MOTB in you. But, hey, if you get, force, hey, if that, uh, get forcefully inside of you, that was meant to happen, man. Let me get this quick scripture and then we'll get on to the rebuke, man. This is Psalms 17. This is Psalm 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Al Shai. All right, another reason why, you know, if you're put in that situation and you get forcefully <laughs> get the get the uh, uh, new juice, the new uh, the nano, the MOTB in you, is because you're not preaching the true name of the Lord. You're preaching Caesar Borgia's name, okay? So you have no deliverance, you have no protection. The Lord's name is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it. You're not preaching the name of the Lord, right? Because best believe in the time of Jacob's trouble, the elect is going to lift up their prayers to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And the Lord is going to hear them. And the Lord is going to make way to deliver them. Whether by spiritual power, angels, another brother coming in. However the Lord set it up. Animals. However the Lord set it up. Even Edomites. <laughs> all right. All right. Even Edomites might even come in and, and save you in that day, man. <laughs> all right. But you're not going to have that protection because you're praising Caesar Borgia. Let's get back to the scripture. Psalm 17 and verse 13. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahshad, disappoint him and cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So we're praying to the Lord to, to deliver our souls from the wicked. Okay? And the Lord cannot deliver your soul from the wicked if you breaking down the scriptures wrong, preaching false doctrine. You paid off. You got the 501 CD, C3. You're preaching the name of Caesar Borgia. The Lord will not deliver you from that, man. Now, it's, it's seeming obvious <laughs> like these dudes is paid off or they're just stuck in the IUIC doctrine. Because I had um, had new 
knew a dude that came from IUIC. He left IUIC down here. And, uh, hey, he was pretty much still preaching the same doctrine of IUIC. Even though he was out, he was still preaching the name of Cesar Bozier, going hard for the name of Cesar Bozier. All right? He wasn't believing in the MOTB. All right? And so I, um, it's most likely that the Lord will not deliver that dude. At least you repent. All right? Because you're going to have a lot of people in your congregation. IUIC. Uh, what's the I ISBK? We're going to have a lot of dudes waking up. A lot of dudes waking up and seeing that their leadership lied to them, man. All right, so let's get to the scriptures, man. Let's get some more. This is uh, Matthew 15, to verse 13. But he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father have not planted. All right, because it's showing that you dudes, uh, the Lord didn't send you, man. You acting like a Christian pastor. I woke up on my own accord. I decided to be a, a pastor, man. <laughs> when, when the Lord has to call you to be a true pastor. Every plant which my heavenly father have not planted shall be rooted up. You're going to be rooted up. Those that do not repent in the IUIC and these other camps are going to be rooted up for teaching false doctrine. But check this. <laughs> Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind, and if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. If the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into a ditch. So if you Jake's out there, you still dance into the tune of IUIC's doctrine, ISUBK's doctrine, you're gonna fall into a ditch. Okay, because you have been warned. Because obviously these dudes know what the MOTB is, and they're preaching that if you take it. Talking after the side of their neck. You take it, you're going to be delivered. No. If you repent, you're going to be delivered. No. The Lord says otherwise, man. And that's why we go hard for this truth, man. We're defenders of the gospel, of this true doctrine. We're here to warn our people, blow that trumpet, let you know what time it is. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Jeremiah 5 and 31. The prophets prophesied falsely. And the priests bear rule by their means. And my people love to have it so. Our people love to have it so. That's why our people is dancing to the tune of IUIC, man. And these other camps. Instead of the true doctrine. And our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Given to them by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has given us, man. All right. It's not by our own accord. It's given to us by Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. And we understand that the Lord has set forth, he has the blind out there. You may not know that you're an Israelite, but you're still blind. You, you may know that you're an Israelite, but you ain't going to make it. You got to preach the right doctrine. You got to endure to the end. And our people love it. They love lies. They see the purple and gold, and they, and they dance. So they see all the people in your congregation not realizing that the Lord is only dealing with a few. Only few is going to be saved in these last days compared to the billions of people that's going to lose their lives in this upcoming destruction. <laughs> and what will ye do in the end thereof? All right. So our people love false prophets, man. Let's get some more. Uh, this is Jeremiah 14 and verse 14. Then the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. All right, you you got other camps that's, that knows the name of Yahweh by Shem and they're prophesying lies in the Lord's name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them. So the Lord has not commanded them to go out there on the highways and byways and preach his word. All right, the Lord has not chosen you because we can obviously see it's clear as day that you're that, you're that uh, fruit that's not bringing forth good fruit. You're bringing forth bad fruit. All right. The Lord is using your camp to bring in. Not to say that there's none of the elect in your camp. I'm not going to say that. But there's going to be a lot of your people in your congregation. They either going to wake up or they're going to stick by your doctrine and they're going to perish. All right. Need to speak unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision 
and divination. You see that? A false vision and divination. Oh, if you take it and you repent, you can still enter in the kingdom. Come on, man. It's not going to happen. The Bible says otherwise. You're supposed to be. Hey, you're supposed to know precept upon precept, man. You're supposed to know this Bible like the back of your hand. <laughs> it's not showing. It's not showing, Jake. Let's see. And things of not in the seat of their heart. Therefore, thus save you. How concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. You know, so you also have prophets in, in that spirit. They're either in the Christian church or even in here in Israel. You know, a, at one time, Bishop Nate was saying that there's no Jacob's trouble. All right. But guess what? There is a Jacob's trouble. And we got to go through it, man. We got to endure to the end. All right. So you saying that there's no Jacob's trouble, saying that there's no famine. Well, the Lord's going to put you through that and you're going to die through the famine, man. You're going to be consumed by the sword or whatever the Lord has, has set up for you. If you continue lying on the Bible, if you continue in your false doctrine, you're going to be consumed. All right. Uh, let's get some more scriptures. I say I don't want this too long. Let's let's we may just go ahead and get to the point. <laughs> may just go ahead and get to the point. Um, give me one second. It's Revelation 14 and verse 1. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount of Zion, with him a hundred and forty hundred and four thousand having their father's name written in their foreheads, you know, that spiritual mark. All right, that spiritual mark and Lord willing, that spiritual mark of exemption and Lord willing, we be those men that have that spiritual mark of exemption, man. All right. And I heard a voice from heaven as a voice of many waters and as a voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their hearts and they sung as it were a new song before the throne. What's this new song? This truth, man. That's this new song. And the elders and no man could learn that song, but the 144, 104,000, which were redeemed from the earth. All right. And that new song is this true doctrine, man. That's a new song and not, not your doctrine, man. And you're supposed to be prophesying against this man technology, against his juice. You're not even doing that, man. Or Salakia, if you are Salakia. All right. But from what I've seen. You're not even prophesying against this technology. This technology is not supposed to be here, man. All right, this man, this man Esau Edom has set up this technology so he can rule. And guess what? You Israelites ain't invited, man. He doesn't want our people to be part of this new system. He wants everybody, even his own people, to be his slaves, man. And if you take the Karagma, the MOTB, that's showing that Esau Edom is your God, is your king. Because what did you do with animals back in the day and, and even still now? You were brand them. Okay? And so the MOTB is a brand showing you who you own to. And so you want that spiritual brand from Yahweh Bashim Shai, that mark of exemption. Okay? And once again, if you put into a situation where Esau Edom is trying to force the MOTB into you. And if you have the elect, you're going to be delivered from that. It's not going to enter into your body, man. Lord is going to make a way. But for everybody else, there's no repentance from that. The Lord set that up. I, I believe there was a Hamite maybe, what, two, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Apostle Tahar was speaking on, uh, upon him that uh, he was, <laughs> that they forced him to get the, um, that they forced their way onto him to get the uh, MOTB. And, uh, hey, you, you can't be delivered, man. That's it. <laughs> Which it could have been Jake, if I'm not mistaken. It, it might even even been Jake. Well, the Lord set that up to happen, man. The Lord is king of terrors. All right, let's once again, let's get to the point. 
Well, we're getting to the point. Revelation 14 and verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from hence forth. Yea, save the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So some of the men of the Lord and the elect are going to be put to death because they refuse to take the MOTB. Because they know the judgment of taking that. All right. And they understand that if you die on this side, that you're going to be the first ones risen up. And you're still going to see the downfall and get your hands on your enemies. OK, this is what you should be preaching. This is a doctrine. This is this new song that you should be preaching, man. Not that song that you preaching. Oh, busted up tune. All right. We ain't dancing to that. All right. Once again, let's go to. Um, I said I was getting to the point. So let's get to the point. Revelation 14 and 9 and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in or in his hand, because you also uh, Elder Malcolm, I had recommended a video and I believe Manata Zaba had talked about it as well. Um, that video, I mean, Slocky, that movie implant on Tubi, however you say it. And, um, hey, I was watching a little bit of it at work. And, uh, you know, Esau Edom, they know what's coming down the pipeline, man. They know what's coming. And uh, pretty much in the movie, she had uh, taken the MOTB, but uh, Esau Edom changed it to where it's in his back. But, hey, we're we going to say this. Right is your right hand, your left hand, your right butt cheek, your forehead, wherever, wherever you take it. If you take it, you're through, man. And they showed in the movie that she had a, a sore on it, man. Doesn't the scripture speak about that? And also that this, um, that the body inside her, you know, hey, it was giving her commands, telling her what she should do. And if she didn't do them, it was hurting her. All right, so go ahead and check out that movie, man. You know, you saw Edom know, knows what's coming. And we're prophesying and we're telling you what's coming, man. And a lot of you Jakes that refuse to listen to this word, that refuse to get to this song, to dance to, the, to this tune of this song, you're going to be in a bad condition, man. Um, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine and the wrath of power, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, righteous anger. And he shall be tormented with fire, those thermal nuclear missiles, and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of fire and torment ascended up forever and forever. They have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image. All right, and also his image is um pretty much following after the ways of Babylon the Great, you know, this revised Roman Empire system. All right, being conformed to this image, being conformed to his ways. All right, because you got a lot of... uh I believe you have this athlete, man, I forget his name, Anthony Edwards. They wanted him to apologize for uh, <laughs> saying, uh, quote, unquote, you know, against the alphabet community. And I believe Dwayne Wade had got on him. You know, that's just a prelude to uh, they, they want us to conform. They want us to comply with their ways. But the elect is not. All right. We're not going to give an apology. We're not going to follow after your ways. So you follow after the ways of Babylon the Great and you take his MOTB because the majority of the people will. You have death, hell, and destruction coming to you. All right. Um, verse 11, and the smoke of their torment is sending up forever and forever and they had no rest day or night. Worship the beast and his image and whosoever received the mark of his name. All right, here's the patience of the saints and here are they that keep the commandments of power and the face of Faith of Yahweh Shah. All right, so the saints are patiently waiting for this place to go down, and we're going to keep the commandments. We're going to endure to the end. And as you read in uh, Revelation 3 and 10, the Lord's going to keep you away from that, man. He's going to take care of you because you kept the word of the Lord's patience, man. You kept the uh, Lord's word, man. And you had patience, and the Lord's going to take care of you. All right? The Lord is going to take care of you, man. 
But if you keep on preaching this false doctrine, you got hell coming to you, man. Um, this is uh, Revelation 16 and verse 2. And the first went out and poured out his vow upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and greasome sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. All right. So if you take the MOTB, it's not going to be pretty for you. Just like the uh, woman in that movie, uh, Implanted. That's how you're going to be like and worse. You're going to be tormented. I wouldn't be surprised with the way that Esau Edom's technology is going and what they show you in movies. You're going to be tormented physically and mentally. All right. Physically and mentally. It's not going to be pretty for y'all that, that take it, man. It's not going to be pretty. You know, because that metal that's inside your body, you know, you may have nettle bots and, and whatever they got in it, man. It's not going to be pretty for y'all. All right. But um, I have more scriptures, but I'm going to just end it right there. You know, that's that's pretty much to the point, man. You know, this man, whoever keeps on falling, these dudes, y'all going to fall in the ditch with them, man. It's not going to be pretty for y'all. So, Lord, when it's edifying, want to give all praises going on too. Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah by Shimmy Kakadash and the Wa Ababa Ba Shalom.